I was so fortunate to be raised in a church that talked a lot about the call, talked a lot about God's big purposes in the world, and, and encouraged us to dream. So from the, a very early age, I felt like God could use me somehow. I didn't know how, but there was at least the openness to listening. And I went to seminary, and it was there that that sense of call began to become uncomfortable. I, I did love to preach. I loved preaching and teaching in the context of the church, but something about that role didn't feel quite right in that moment, and I really struggled with it. And one day, one of my professors, a theology professor, says to me, Cameron, have you ever considered that your calling could be to the classroom and prepare ministers for the church? It was as if somebody had hit me with a two by four. I had no idea that the call could be a call to teach. That was revolutionary and it took, it took some meditation. It took some time to really let that sink in, but it became so clear that that was the next right step. When I was wrapping up at, at Baylor in my doctoral studies, a position came open at, at Campbell. And I was already excited about it because I knew the faculty member who was leaving that they were trying to replace and I knew that his work and mine really dovetailed in some interesting ways and so I thought well this seems to be a, a, an institution that would appreciate the kinds of things that I care about so there was that. But beyond that, one of my best friends at Baylor was a graduate of Campbell and so I already knew the great work that Campbell did. Uh, because he was one of the best formed seminary graduates I had ever met. I mean, he had this deeply formed faith. He knew the tradition well. He, he prayed well. He cared about the church. And he saw his own academic work as being a benefit to the church. And I thought, wow, I want to go serve in a place that produces that kind of person. So there's, there's that. At the same time, uh, I was discovering the mission statement of the school. And it just kind of made my heart sing. Christ-centered, yeah, so this is a place that takes spiritual formation seriously. Bible-based, that we take the text of scripture seriously, but we also take seriously 2,000 years of brothers and sisters seeking truth together in this, in this text. Oh, that, that was wonderful. And then uh, ministry-focused, the idea that all of this is not just for idle curiosity, it, and um, it, it's, it's to serve God's good purposes in the world. The reason I, I, I love especially theology is because it's where all the pieces start to come together. After all, if God is the one who created all things, that means that there really are only two things, God and all the stuff that God created. So the beauty of theology is just trying to look for those deep meanings and deep connections where all things find their unity as a creation of God. So to get to think about that and to, to get to pull the layers back and, and, and get to look at what makes it tick uh, as a beloved thing that God made, oh, that's beautiful.